Yo guys, what is going on? Splate here back with the new tutorial and uh, this is a follow-up tutorial to the installation uh, tutorial for the Lucky Block mod. So in this video we're going to learn how to pretty much change the appearance of the Lucky Blocks and uh, just pretty much customize and make it however you want them to look in uh, in game. So this is pretty easy to do. However, you will need a photo manipulation program such as Photoshop and um, I believe don't hold me accountable to this but uh, you can use paint.net and or GIMP I believe uh, I'm not 100% sure I actually don't have those programs with me so I can't really verify but you can try it on your own now Photoshop is not free obviously but there is a trial version so if you don't have Photoshop I'll link like the uh, trial ver version in the description and uh, besides Photoshop I'm, that's pretty much all you need and uh, yeah, so let's get started with this tutorial. All right, so I forgot to mention that uh, you also uh, obviously need to have the mod installed. Um, if you don't know how to do that or you don't have it installed, I already made the you know video to that, so uh, I'll uh, annotate it, annotate the video on the screen, and as well as link it in the description so you can check out uh, how to install the mod itself. So. Uh, the first of all, what we're going to need to do is just click on any folder on our desktop or I'm just going to use the libraries folder that's located here and uh, on the address bar you want to do this, just click on it, type in percent app data percent, hit enter, this will take you to your roaming directory, you need to go to your .minecraft folder and uh, once you're in here you want to go to mods folder. Now, uh, if you didn't install the uh, actual mod itself uh, using my tutorial you probably won't have this mods folder so again just have the mod installed uh, then you can uh, continue on with this tutorial so uh, we're gonna go into the mods folder and then we're gonna go to now you will see a uh, zip folder now you can open this with WinRAR if you have WinRAR but WinRAR is not required however so if you don't have WinRAR it will just be a normal zip folder like a folder that's like that has a zipped icon I believe and uh, basically you just simply double click on it so uh, for me I can do the same but I would have to go to open with Windows Explorer and there we go so uh, once you go into the zip folder you'll see like these files what you want to do is go to assets lucky textures blocks and there you have the PNG image file for the um, lucky block so we're going to want to drag this out of our uh, onto our desktop it'll make a copy because it's a zip folder when you're dragging stuff out of the zip folder it just makes a copy of it but don't worry about that now uh, now what we're going to do is minimize the this folder with the picture and we can close out the other one all right so um, now what you want to do is just open up your uh, photo manipulation program such as uh, Photoshop Okay, once you have your program opened up, you want to go to File, uh, if you're on Photoshop, of course, so again, just try to do this on Photoshop, it'll be the easiest uh, uh, for you. So you want to go to File, Open, and to your desktop or wherever you copied that PNG file. There we go. Alright, you want to double click it and it should open it up. Now it's going to be a small image to start off with, so what you want to do is hit Control zero on your keyboard and it should like zoom it in all the way where you can see everything now this is where pretty much your creativity goes you can change this however you want to now I wouldn't recommend messing with it way too much but um, you can do like uh, if you double click on it of course you pop up your layer style he can you can do like whatever pretty much anything you want here and um, let's give it a, a different type of hue do that um, the most thing I would recommend you do is go to the pencil tool which will be right here if it's not already on the pencil tool you can right click on it and click select pencil tool and uh, let me change the size by right clicking on the image and you want to make sure it's on one pixel because this image again is actually really tiny but we just zoomed in a lot on it from here you can like choose a color whatever um, actually don't like that uh, there you go. I don't, I don't like that effect. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna, I don't know, like, customize it however I want. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can pretty much do whatever with this. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna customize it even more, and I'll be right back. And there we have my uh, creation now. I didn't mess with it too much, but uh, this, 
this is uh, pretty much it for the tutorial purpose so um, anyway so that's how it's gonna look so what we want to do now is uh, once you're done uh, pretty much customizing it you want to go to file and then you want to go to save that's pretty much all you have to do uh, you saved it now we can just close out of our program here and there we have the file now we're gonna open back up the folder that we minimized with the stuff right here and we want to delete the uh, PNG that's already in here so you want to right click and delete or just uh, hit delete on your keyboard yes and then you just want to drag the ones uh, the picture that we redid so there we go and uh, if we can verify it there we go if you double click on it and it looks like your block you're good so this is pretty much it for all um, with the folders and stuff so you can close that out and from here you're just gonna open up your games folder and well not your games folder but I'm gonna open up my games folder and just open up your uh, Minecraft launcher all right make sure you have the forge uh, default set with your um, uh, with the mod actually installed on it and obviously you won't have this uh, profile made if you didn't follow the uh, previous tutorial that I did on how to install this mod so we're gonna just go on the uh, forge profile and hit play all right let's load up our creative world here all right let's go to our inventory church lucky and there we go you can see the icon already appears so let's see it in real time there we go and we just put another one here and there you have your customized lucky block and uh, yeah, so it actually looks pretty good. I don't know if it's like the shaders mod that I have on right now. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. It's a pretty simple tutorial. Again, you'll need the actual mod installed in order to actually uh, do what I just did. Uh, and that video will also be in the outro uh, of this video. So you can click that and also be uh, learn how to install this mod. And uh, yeah, so I forgot to mention in the beginning. Uh, so shout out to uh, CKB1 and Adolfo. Uh, again, because uh, they actually not only did they suggest on how to install the uh, Minecraft this uh, lucky block mod But they also suggested on how to uh, change the color So they suggested this tutorial as well. So shout out to those people and uh, yeah So that's pretty much it. If this um, video helped you guys hit the like button if you're new to this channel Hit the subscribe button. There'll be a playlist link in the top uh, The first link in the description which will take you to all my mod tutorials that I, I've done and all my mod videos and stuff like that and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much about it guys. Um, uh, yeah, peace. <laughs>